Starfield at this point is well known for being poorly optimized and it runs pretty bad even on good systems. There has been an update already to version 1.7.29, but the patch did little to improve performance, so we still have to rely on mods to do that. Starfield Texture Optimization Overhaul mod claims to use some kind of intelligent algorithms to optimize and downscale the game's original textures without reducing visual fidelity, and according to the description, its biggest advantage is massive reduction in VRAM usage in Starfield. Field. So let's run some tests and see if those claims hold up. And to be completely honest, the mod isn't very impressive for pure FPS boost. In New Atlantis, the performance of all versions was around the same as original settings, with some versions of the mod very slightly improving FPS metrics here and there, but pretty much all improvement is within margin of error and wouldn't be noticeable in-game. However, when it comes to RAM and VRAM usage, story is very interesting. Balanced version consumed the least RAM, on average about 1.5 GB less than original settings or any of the other versions, but Ultra Performance version consumed the least VRAM on GPU, on average about 1 GB less than original this is actually pretty useful, as using less RAM for Starfield leaves more available for the rest of your system, and using less VRAM means your GPU won't struggle as much to load all the textures. It's just slightly sad positive effects are split between two mod versions, rather than having one with everything. In Neon, all versions of the mod gain slight advantage over original settings. While performance is again either within margin or just slightly better than on original settings, a notable exception is the balanced version of the mod, which actually offers a super impressive 50% boost to minimum FPS. This makes game feel considerably smoother, even if 1% and 0.1% lows aren't that different from original. The game simply doesn't fall to same stutter level as with other settings. That said, the performance version generally had the best metrics, on average 2-3% better than balanced version, and with the exception of 0.1% lows, even better than ultra performance. But admittedly, the difference wasn't huge and personally I would just choose balanced version for simplicity. RAM usage was also the lowest specifically on balanced version, although the difference wasn't as drastic as in Atlantis. In terms of VRAM, all versions of the mod performed very similarly, but considerably better than original settings, using on average 600 to 700 megabytes of VRAM less. On Mars, all versions of the mod offer better performance than original settings, but the difference, while outside the margin of error, isn't big. Ultra Performance version is the best here, but even then it only offers around 5% advantage over original settings. What's way more impressive is that it does so while actually reducing VRAM usage by around 1.2 GB. It doesn't sound like much, but on a 8GB card that is actually pretty significant. However, the highlight of Mars is the balanced version of the mod. While it doesn't reduce VRAM usage as much as Ultra Performance version does, it still reduces it by around a gigabyte, but in addition to that, it also cuts down on RAM by over a gigabyte on average as well. In terms of actual visuals, there's basically no difference between original version and the mods. On Mars all configurations look identical, even if looking into textures further away, everything blurs exactly the same, and from up close even the smallest details are completely identical between all four configurations, which is good, since that's what mod claims it does anyway. In Neon, all configurations also look extremely similar. There is some shimmering and texture inconsistency, but that's not really because of the actual settings, rather just the FSR2 upscaling that Starfield Ultra settings have by default, so it's present in all four configurations as all of them were tested on exact same settings. The only actual visual difference was on Ultra Performance settings, and it was this great. No other version had this white color poppin'. Just this one, it's unclear why that happens, because all of the tests were done on same save at same time, but Ultra Performance version is supposed to have smallest texture resolution, so maybe that's what's causing this effect. Aside from that, there is no difference. To summarize, this is a decent mod if you need to reduce your RAM and VRAM usage, but in terms of performance boost, for AMD systems it doesn't offer much. Balanced version seems like the best choice, it consistently saves the most RAM and nearly as much VRAM as other versions. Link to the mod is in the video description. Installation instructions are on mod page. Subscribe for more content.